evening to all of you i am uh, really happy to be here uh, we kind of conceptualized a nurture program together with the thai charter members right uh, from the initial stages and i'm happy kind of we came on board as sponsors uh because looking at the popularity of the program i have a feeling that next year if they do something like this there would be a lot of people wanting to sponsor it and we may have to compete quite a bit and we may have to pay a higher price as well uh so uk trade and investment is actually a, a british government organization it's the trade promotion body of the british government and uh, uh having said that you know it may be a little incongruous as to why a kind of government employee which is myself is even speaking at an event which is about entrepreneurship uh, so uh, you know i hope i'm qualified i i do believe i bring a lot of entrepreneurial zeal to my job so i hope i'm qualified but apart from that actually uh, every single day i meet with a lot of entrepreneurs many of you have interacted with me and you know that and this is true both in the uk and in india so uh, possibly i have some things that i can share and i've just come with my you know two or three thoughts today uh uh the discussion so far has been around funding i won't speak about funding because that's not something i know about but i do uh, you know interact with a lot of companies especially on the technology and innovation areas so i just like to say a few things about that and the first you know kind of thought that i have uh, if you really look at the fact that i interact with a lot of companies here startups <coughs> smes and larger companies as well as in the uk and if you really look at what there is you know to be the perspectives to be gained from both the sides looking outwards in uh, many many business people of or similar small businesses in the uk have really told me that they think that you all are in a very lucky place they believe that pune is very happening india is very happening the growth is phenomenal and you know they they really look at all of you as being in a very very exciting place so that's something that we should all feel very happy about uh looking outwards i mean what is it that you know where uh, in a developed economy certain things are in a higher level of the maturity cycle and there's some lessons to be learned from that not necessarily picked up and aped but still certain perspectives and one thing which has struck me uh during my interactions is that we are uh kind of not taking up enough uh, we're not harnessing the potential of ip creation and research which is happening at research organizations and universities which is something which is in the uk for example uh very very strong so uh, to give you an example i mean i'm sure all of you may have heard of the concept of spin outs but a spin out is not just like an incubation center in a college where you know some small company start out a spin out can go much beyond that a spin out can go that you know you discover a molecule in the lab of a college and the college and the professor actually uh, together form a company which then ultimately goes public and universities like oxford actually make more money i, I think i think that statistic is correct but i can check that they actually make more money on the stock exchange than they make on fees so that's that's really the potential and and uh, just oxford or cambridge have done such tremendous work on spin outs and if you feel that you know research organizations here or universities here are not savvy maybe it's up to industry to kind of demand that to kind of look at those universities which have a research focus i have interacted with one business person in pune who has got a uh, water filtration company which is based on a membrane technology and he's licensed to the membrane technology from the council for scientific and i think it's the council for scientific and industrial research but i may be wrong it could be another organization but there are there are not many of them so for for a lot of you who are early stage i uh, do look at where you can get the differentiation do look at where you can get that that uh, kind of uh, you know that uh, edge and it may be that you could interact more deeply with people who have labs who have access to research uh, even central government funding and so on so that's one thing that i'd like to say uh the other uh, point which i'd like to say is that uh, you know the flavor of innovation is very different again just kind of taking perspectives on both the sides because in all the developed countries whether it's us and, and many countries of europe it's like about you know so many nobel prizes and it's true that a lot of the work which i see here is not going to win a nobel prize but it's it's equally true that that is still innovation and there is innovation in business processes in india you you can innovate just on being able to 
provide something at a particular price, being able to provide access to something, being able to distribute something. So there is a lot of, uh, uh, you know, a very different flavor of innovation. And in fact, a friend of mine who is at Cambridge at the Judge Business School, he's actually writing a book called Jugard Innovation. And when he comes to India, he's like so excited. He says, look, there's Jugard and there's Jugard. And I say, you know, sometimes those people are just really unlucky, you know, they don't have facilities. But he's like, no, that's great because there's so much of Jugard, it's so innovative. So the, the, the point I'm making is, yes, the flavor of innovation is quite different and we don't necessarily need to do things which come out of a lab. But in India, there is, there is uh, you know, s uh, such a lot of uh, uh, interesting things which are happening purely on being able to provide something on, on the, you know, on being able to provide better business processes or delivery or operations. And there are many very good examples like the, uh, the heart surgeries in Bangalore, which is the, uh, the Narayan Pridhanale, right? Is that the name? Yeah. Narayan Hridayale and also of course the Akash tablet which is you know which has got a lot of uh, press I mean we still have to see which way it goes but good press bad press or uh, some years ago similar situation with the nano so those are all examples of innovation which is very Indian in flavor <coughs> and the last thing which I'd like to say is that uh, uh, you know uh, for all of you again many of you who are personally known to me already. I know your companies, I know your business models. I just say look at what the future holds. I mean there is the whole, uh, in the future of human society, there is the whole trend towards urbanization, a very huge population growth which is very disproportionate in certain pockets. There are going to be mega cities, there are going to be more populations, there are going to be more aging populations. So there's a lot to be done around, you know, things like assisted health care, maybe uh, robotics, maybe, you know, uh, uh, I mean more on the, on the things which are going to have a quality of life for us where, because we can see the social trend going in a certain way but those products and services today don't exist. So that's something which I would like all of you to think about. And the last point which I'll make which is very specific to Pune is that, uh, you know, in Pune a lot of, uh, and, I, and I speak about IT because I know IT. So uh, a lot of the IT entrepreneurs come from IT companies or services companies and they are innovative. They come to me and they say we are excited because we are coming out with a new product. But the, the innovation is all in a particular band. It's all in, uh, you know, in the database, in the UI, in the reports, in the dashboards. It's, it's, it's sort of in that band. And the applications are for things like, you know, basically for B2B applications, whether it's a payroll or whether it's, uh, you know different things in, in that band. Uh, what I what struck me when I started interacting with more companies in the UK is that the innovation has a greater depth so it goes into things like embedded or it goes into hardware interfaces or it goes into medical devices so I think that there's something for us to think about there there's a lot below the surface that we're kind of not looking at and uh, that's an idea that I just like to leave all of you with. Uh, with that I'll just end by saying uh, a few lines about what UKTI does so that all of you know me, you, uh, you can always reach out to me. I meet people every day and I usually never say no to meet anybody unless the person is particularly obnoxious or I have a particular reason not to meet that person. My office is actually in the same building upstairs on the fifth floor B wing. So to give you a little bit about what we do, just two or three points. One thing that we do is the trade part of our name which is that we help British companies to globalize and what I mean by that is that uh, we provide them local knowledge, we, we don't sell for them, but we provide them local knowledge, we suggest partners to them, we suggest distributors, we suggest customers. Some of you may sometimes get a call from a colleague of mine with a, with a request like, uh, I'm calling from UKTI, uh, so and so is coming down, he makes rubber components for railways, he wants to meet with you, are you ready to meet with him? Yes, no, if no, why? You know, if yes, please, yes. Uh, so you may get a call like that. So that's the kind of initiative that we take in helping British companies to globalize and uh, my office I don't remember the number but I know in pounds every year we provide a number of bespoke reports to companies about the Pune market that's one of the things that we do and we may actually reach out for to, to some of you uh, you know for that aspect of our work the other thing which we do which is investment is we help Indian companies to establish their operations in the UK uh, and there's a whole range of services that we provide in that uh, in that regard, which are all free and confidential. Uh, and we, we give you an overview of the opportunity and we provide a number of services to help you to set up your company and grow your operations and grow your team in the UK. 
we have a specific program since we had this topic today about funding we have a very specific program which does have a representative in delhi though not in pune and that's our global entrepreneur program somewhere there is a banner outside which says entrepreneurs are great so uh, the global entrepreneur program helps uh innovative ip led companies to base their companies in the uk and then the gp team works with you to raise funds as well as to develop a market for you in the in the whole of europe uh but that's a a program that happens by invitation so if you come to me and if you tell me we are innovative we are ip led i will understand your business and i will ask my gp colleagues that is this something that you can take on into the gp program so that's that's also something that we do i haven't put any pune company successfully into the program yet i have put some in the process but they haven't yet kind of reached culmination so i am happy at oh, i'm sorry i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> okay vandana is a, a successful example of a gp company okay so that was a little before my time that's so true. pardon me for that okay uh, another thing that we do is we work on educational tie ups we work on research tie ups we help uh, colleges to collaborate universities to collaborate and the last thing is there is that little developmental aspect of our work so sometimes we have scholarships we have grants we have fellowships sometimes i am told suggest good people who are working in the social sector or in the education sector again it's just a matter of me knowing what work you do and i'm always very happy to pass on those opportunities to you you may get an email from me saying please apply for this award or please apply for that grant funding uh, and i hope that you know you take advantage of that So that's a little bit about what we do, and with that, I'll just say I'm happy to kind of set this nurture program off onto a great start. Thanks so much. <laughs>